Hello dear friends, my name is Vangelis Prokopiou and you are watching Bus Mass String Replacement. So today we will have a, a, a look at how we can achieve this and uh, of course uh, all the, li uh, the Linux users and the command line users uh, know that uh, a program that we can uh, use to perform string operations is of course SID. So this is what uh, we're going to use today. But uh, we will extend a little bit uh, the use of SID because usually all the resources out there uh, show how you can use SID on a single file or on a, sim on a single input stream. But uh, we will show something different. For example, uh, let's say that we want to replace a string which I know that we have in here. First of all, in here we have a, a Drupal project and in this Drupal project I know that we have a string uh, like this. S let's suppose that we want to replace this string with something else. So the first uh, step we have to do is uh, to search for the string and find where it is at in this repository. So we'll start this operation by grabbing, of course, recursively, and we will uh, look in the doc root modules custom because I know that uh, in there we can find the string. So, as you very well see, we indeed uh, located the string in all the places that it is used. Uh, and now we will try to replace it. As you can see, a lot of files include this uh, string and it's uh, quite uh, some uh, it's quite a lot to do this replacement replacement by hand. So we will use our uh, command line skills for it. So how are we going to approach, approach this task? Of course, as we said, SID operates on files. So what we have to do is retrieve every file that contains this string. This can be achieved if we add the L flag to grep. So if we say grep does RL, it will return all the files that contain this string that we are looking for. OK, so we have all the files. Next, uh, Our next goal is to try and operate on each file. How will we achieve this? Well, the next step is, since we have all the files, to pipe these files in a while loop. So we can say that we are, while we are reading each of these files, we can do some stuff on them. Do, for example, let's start by echoing hello for each file. And let's see if this works. Yes, indeed, this works. OK, so let's go, let's go and build our processing. As you can understand, we said that we want to operate on its file with seed. So we will write seed and we, we will end the seed command with the file that we're going to target. Now what we want to do, we want to replace in line. So we will write das i and then we will prepare the replace uh, statement. And we will write here that we want to replace the EEA underscore string that we're looking for with what we want to replace it with. So we will uh, say, for example, Nike to see if it works. Now, if we run this command, nothing was outputted, which is a good thing because it. Uh, it means that we had no errors, errors, and if we run a git uh, diff command, we will see all the places that this string were, was changed. As you can see, 
all the instances of EEA underscore was replaced with Nike underscore. So the task was successful. Now to recap again, this is the command that we have to run. We start by without the L by identifying the the string that we're trying to replace. Then we add the L uh, switch so that we can retrieve only the file the files and not and not the contents of the files. Once we do this, we pipe the files to a while loop, uh, loop, and then within the loop, we run the seed command on each file, and then we are done. So this was how we can mass replace strings in bus. I hope that uh, you found this uh, video useful. If you indeed found it useful, you can subscribe and comment on the video and uh, keep, keep coming back for more of these videos. Thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.